The year is 2030, 11 years from now. And although life won't necessarily be a sci-fi picture movie with the flying cars and whatnot, life will definitely be different. In the years that have come, the technology has transformed our lives, and the work that's being done today will definitely change the future in both aspects. And you might even call this our third revolution, the technological revolution. In the year 2030, for sure, things in the terms of societal interactions and communications will definitely change. But what can we really expect from the future, especially in terms of emerging technologies? Now, many of you may not be familiar with the terms virtual reality or augmented reality, and that is okay. Virtual reality, or VR, is essentially a 3D simulation that attempts to replicate the human life and its systems. And it has been characterized by most commonly by a headset. And you might see them at many, many te technology stores, in fact. And one thing to note is that they try to replicate our feelings by hearing or touch and even vision. And you know, there are even more advanced systems out there, in fact, that might try to replicate more senses that involve body packs and having haptic gloves and shoes that try to re replicate the feeling of feeling even more and more detail. Now with augmented reality, it's kind of like it's relative, you might say. Augmented reality is pretty much the same as virtual reality. It is the same thing, it's a 3D simulation. But there is an ideal difference to note. With augmented reality, it's bringing us from the virtual world and bringing that virtual world to us. Whereas virtual reality, we travel into that virtual world. As you can see in that first image, the person is trying on the gloves and the headset. He is in his world. Whereas in the second photo, I'm not sure if that application is familiar to any of you, it's Pokemon Go. And that was the app of summer 2016. I definitely played it, you definitely played it, we all definitely played that one. And you know, it was so amusing, just seeing our Pokemon and like Pikachu and whatever, you know, just on the street or in the toilet, wherever it is, you know, <laughs> it's just amusing catching them, you know. And I think that that is the beauty of AR. It seamlessly brings in that virtual being into our world, even though it's not there. And you might even call like the applications that allow you to change your hair and eye color, you know, they're also augmented reality. You know, I don't have blonde hair or anything, but I do enjoy messing around, you know, with apps. <laughs> Now there is something else which I should mention. Our third focus is artificial intelligence. And I wanted to mention that with artificial intelligence, they also try to replicate the feeling of humans. And that all lies in neuroscience. Neuroscience is the keystone to all three of these technologies. And that's actually my field of expertise, if you haven't heard already. But you know, with neuroscience, I find it so fascinating. As you can see, me lovingly adoring a human brain, you know, I just thought the sensations and the feelings of the brain is really interesting. And when you apply that to technology, everything transforms. It's a new layer of immersion, you might even say. And I think that is a huge deal. And I'm really excited to see how it works with virtual reality, augmented reality, and with artificial intelligence. Now, there is something that is an issue, addiction. If you, many of you have children, then I think you know what I'm talking about. That includes games like Fortnite. My brother is a huge fanatic. And um, I also play uh, a little bit of PUBG, if anyone knows that one. <laughs> yeah, PUBG. So, you know, it's a great, it's a great game. And it all kind of feeds into our feeling of addiction. We enjoy that rewards and motivation we get. And the same thing works with social media. When we're addicted to social media, we love the likes, we like, like the comments, we enjoy it. And that same feeling can happen with virtual reality especially it can get even more worse. But there is a solution, and if we just try and teach ourselves and keep our future generations responsible, then there will be no worries. In fact, artificial intelligence might even transform that and make it, it possible to even prevent addiction from happening, which I thought was really interesting. Now, um, we must realize that these are really new technologies, right? There's not too many new things going on, but the current fields that they work in might be research and development, marketing, that's the kind of things that artificial intelligence, VR, and AR are working on right now. So nothing too exciting, but there are things that are happening, and I decided to find that out myself. 
So I thought, you know, I only had the basic knowledge of VR. I only knew like the headset. I didn't know beyond that. So me and my younger brother went to this place called Solaritech in Tampa, Florida, and we decided to check out what VR can, is really capable of. And it was really immersive and impressive, I must say. As you can see, we're wearing full body suits, like something around our waist, and you know, it's just really interesting. Even shoes, there was like detective shoes that like detect your motion and everything. And so me and my brother were able to fight zombies and even uh, play tennis, you know, and even, you know, you know, chill out at a beach, kind of relax. It was really interesting. And it was really cool that we could just take over the world just under two hours and all in one place. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah, I know it looks like he's winning in that, but I'm telling you he's losing. Just know. <laughs> yeah, not letting that one. But, you know, that's the fun part of uh, virtual reality. But I think the cooler thing is it can be applied to so many fields. It has so much potential. When you think about it, education. Education has been radically changed by tablets and laptops. It moved from you know, paper, and that's a pretty big jump. But when you think about virtual reality and augmented reality, that's an even bigger jump. We're bringing ourselves into this new field. And so when you think about it, for European history class, instead of actually paying tickets to go to France, how about you just slap on a headset and just go to France with your classmates on Google Earth? That's a possibility. And it's more immersive, and you could learn more as well. With entertainment, you could take away from films and video games more immersive details and be soaked in the video game itself. And you know, people who have liabilities or need um, accessibility, they can also access social media easily. With the medical field, you know, physicians could do surgery virtually or you know, practice as well. And then people who have disabilities could use social media as well with more you know, accessibility. And also, what else? Oh yeah, even retail, you know, you could style yourself up and you know, dress better with digital clothes and even try out how that might look. It could revolutionize every field I can think of. And I think that's the great thing about it. Now, with artificial intelligence, there's a certain fear that comes out of it. And we all fear that it will take our jobs, but I want to reassure you that that is not going to happen. And you know, there's also something called the metaverse, and metaverse is something where you can, it's like the creative center of the digital universe, you might say. So when we talk about the metaverse, it's like what I was talking about, where you can meet with friends and have cultural interactions all in one place. It almost creates a certain consumer culture. And I think that's a brilliant thing. Like, how many of you here have wanted to visit somewhere, like a dream destination, without the hassles of plane tickets, the prices, and you know, worrying about travel, right? <laughs> it's a dream, right? And you know, with the metaverse and you know, AR and VR, this is all happening. And I think that's an amazing feat to consider. So right, as I was saying, artificial intelligence is an incredible force. And you know, one more thing we can apply that to is to entertainment. Entertainment is a field that has so much possibilities. When we think about it, movies, films, we, instead of walking in a museum, you could walk into an art. It's kind of weird, but you could be walking into art, like Yayoi Kusama's art installment digitally. Or you know, instead of watching a zombie movie, watching it run around the main character, you could be the main character, and it could run around you instead. That's a little more frightening, but I think it's funner. I think it's greater. It's more interesting. And you know, that's the thing about entertainment. And I think it has so much to change with the, with the possibilities that virtual reality offers. And you know, artificial intelligence, that worry, I, I totally recommend you guys erase that right now. Don't worry. It's not going to take away all the jobs. Sure, the ones that require physical labor will be compromised, but I'm telling you, there are going to be so many new things being developed. 58 million new jobs by 2022, only three years from now. And I think it's a wonderful feat to consider. And you know, with artificial intelligence, I think it's really pushing us in the right direction. All emerging technology is. If we were able to get here from you know, bloodletting and horses to modern medicine and automobiles, I think we're doing something right. Yeah. And if we keep going in a direction, it will be OK. So all in all, all I just want you guys to know is that AR, VR, and AI are the three new 
pillars of emerging technology, this, of this technological revolution even. And if you're confident, just be excited for it because it's coming and it's rapidly developing even. If you've had family overseas, then I'm sure you want to see them not just through texting through Facebook Messenger or just Instagram. You want to really see their presence and feel their presence. And to feel that presence, these are the new things that you need to expect. I'm personally looking forward to playing tennis with my grandma in India virtually, and I think that's a great thing. And you know, you know, I think it's something you all should be excited about. So you know, just get excited. Next time you're in a technology store, try that headset on. You know, fight some zombies because you know, <laughs> who's going to be laughing at the end when there's a zombie apocalypse, right? <laughs> yes. Thank you.